Okay. I want to make hat pins. Because I think it would be a good thing to do. And I've never made hat pins before. A long, long time ago, I made paper beads before, but um, it was something that I liked. I didn't make them quite like this, but um, here's a paper bead. Here's a paper bead. that are done, ready to go. I've got a whole bunch um, that need to be glazed. This is some uh, painted paper that I did. Um, here's some more that I need to do. You might not be able to see that because it's glary. I had this really, really cool piece of paper. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But I was thinking, oh, that would be cool for beads. Well, duh, you know, not. So I ruined a really pretty piece of paper. And it was like some kind of advertisement that I had painted on. And I don't know, it just looked really cosmic and cool. And, and I cut it up and made crap out of it. So... But maybe they'll look okay with uh, some glaze. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to try gluing this hat pin. Oh, good. My glue is stuck. I haven't done the uh, Vaseline thing, obviously, yet. I'm just going to put a little dabble, do ya? My name is Shelly, and I live in Minnesota, and I have my whole life, and guess what that was? <laughs> I love stacking things, and then they don't always stay stacked, so this was looking kind of crooked before, but I think if I glue it... It'll uh, stay. I also want to make some clay beads. But I'm starting off with paper ones, and I want to get at least just one hat pin done. Oh. Just, you know, so you get that feeling of accomplishment going. This was looking, yeah, see now it's looking crooked again. Shoot. I don't want it to be crooked looking. Um, I was making, I did make one hat pin as a birthday gift for my sister-in-law. It was kind of the bow for her gift. And, um, I wound up putting a clay bead on there, but um, it turned out that uh, these head pins or hat pins that I bought, and I don't know if you can get them different thicknesses, but these are kind of tapered all the way from the pointy end to the head of the pin. So even though it, it fits on like to here, well here I have an example. I had these little glass beads I was going to put at the end. That's all the farther it would go. And now it's stuck on there and I can't get it. <laughs> so I'll probably maybe cap it with a clay bead or something and bake it, but we'll see. I'm not like an expert at clay, any kind of bead, so it's all going to be... Experimental. Oh, and this is not gluing, sticking. Oh, that's great. Let's put a 
put an extra gabby goo of glue. Except I don't want it, uh, the bead. I guess I can see why people get off camera a lot. Experiencing that. pain in the ass here. <laughs> Alright, now how did I have this? I think I went... forgot already. A little glass bead. I don't know what these are called. <laughs> ah! There goes one. Uh, oh, that's annoying. All right. Let me get some more. I liked that darker kind of ruddy color. Or orange amber color and then a pink pale pink slide that on there and then I was thinking the spacers and then now this bead has where the seam paper, well, kind of where the paper meets. I tried to put this line of um, sequins, and it didn't really, it's crooked, and it's not on the line, and then if it's not, you know, look at how big the hole is, so the bead just kind of, the weight of the sequins always drops that to the, <laughs> where you can't see them, so that kind of was not planned through all the way. It's a lot of glue, but I want it to stick to the pen and the spacer. And hopefully, in a kind of centered way. And I guess this is kind of where you learn the imperfections of your beads as well. Um, you know, things look crooked There's because your bead is crooked. There, that's pretty, isn't it? And that might be a reason why you might not want to do it that way. Let's see if we can. Uh... I'm only using this one light right now because I'm going to see how that works. That looks pretty clunky. And then of course you wonder, are, are people going to see it that way or is it just you because you know it's not perfect like you want it to be, you know. And if they actually use it stuck in a hat, maybe no one will really notice. If it's uh, 
not perfect. Okay, I think that's cleaned off pretty good and I'm gonna do pink. I'm having trouble hanging on to these little guys. There we go. Let's just go from bad to worse. And then I can't see. Glue's starting to dry up here. Oops, there's a big gob on there. Oh. I stuck there. Pin cap in here. That's not a bin. This one. I'll steal one from another one till I find it. All of a sudden, it just doesn't look as pretty as it did in my head. <laughs> um, but, uh, okay, that's it. I'm done for now.